swear I don't wrap my hair I get ill from one cigarette Keep your filthy paws off my silky drawers Would you pull that crap with a net? As for you, Troy Donahue I know what you wanna do You got your crust, I'm no object of lust I'm just plain Sandra D. Elvis, Elvis, let me be. Keep that pelvis far from me. Just keep your cool, now you're starting to drool. Hey, I'm Sandra D. Are you making fun of me, Kitty? Some people are so touchy. Wanted to see me? Finn Hudson. This is Rob and Betty Adams. I took the liberty of calling them to congratulate them on their son landing the big role of Rizzo in Greece. And lo and behold, it was the first they'd heard of it. Look, ever since Wade was a little boy, we knew that he was different. Most little boys don't want to dress as Shirley Hemphill for Halloween. I, I mean, it's just so specific. When we performed as a girl at Nationals, we were really proud. But Chicago is a very liberal city. I mean, we live in Ohio, and to be perfectly honest, we're worried about Wade's safety. I think you're overreacting. Are we? Well, I've personally seen you physically assaulted in the hallway. This concerns me. Wait, is that true? Ooh, put some pants on, Monique. <laughs> We're pulling Wade out of the play. And we're asking Wade not to dress like a girl during school hours. Once he gets home, he can be whoever he wants to be. Wade Adams, you can return to your sewing exam in home ec. I can't believe you would do something like this. You mean do something like conveniently protect the welfare of a student so that it just happens to derail the school musical? I think that sounds exactly like something I'd do. Classic Sue Sylvester. If you don't have a Rizzo, you don't have a show. Well, who says I can't find another Rizzo? Hmm? Me. Of course I can play Rizzo. <gasps> Are you sure? We open tomorrow and we just give you the script. I was born to play this role. I've known it by heart since I was one, Artie. Come on. Uh, so what are you doing in town, Santana? 